I'm having one of those days where I feel too ugly to be on camera. So if you could just please be so kind and leave a comment down below, not about me or my appearance, but just something that you love about yourself, a feature like your eyes, your hands, your nails, whatever. Please just do so. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you're not new here, welcome back. Like the video if you like it, dislike the video if you don't like it. Let's get into the video. I am going to anti haul. I'm gonna hand tie. I'm gonna hand tie. I'm gonna anti haul some new makeup releases. I am trying to cut back. I'm trying to not purchase a lot of shit. So that means that uh, <coughs> I might anti haul things I really want. And I'm gonna be very negative in this video. So if you don't like that, Bye. If you don't like that, or if you do like that, let's just get into it. I'm gonna find all the information on Trend Mood, so let's just update. I have unfollowed Trend Mood, but she, I think she does an amazing job, but she wants, she makes me wanna purchase things. Okay, this is pretty. This, <laughs> this is pretty. Which brand is this from? It's from Oh my God, Clinique. I would never have guessed that Clinique would have come out with this. So this is a cow. Yeah, a cow, a cow, a cow, a cow, a cow. It's to celebrate the Lunar New Year. Okay, so I guess it's the year of a cow. Cool, cool, cool. It retails for $26. And I mean, I yeah, it's beautiful. I would definitely have purchased this one and a half year ago, two years ago. But the thing is, you have these shades in your collection. I actually just decluttered the Becca. If you saw my declutter series, I did a declutter it on my entire makeup collection and it was pretty brutal when it came to many categories. However, when I uh, decluttered my highlighters, I can link that video right up here, I decluttered this Clinique I shouldn't even film today. I'm too ugly to be on camera and I'm too stupid to be on camera. When I decluttered, I decluttered my Becca, the year of the pig highlight because it wasn't really that good. I Okay, this is like a new brand, but still, it's not a new brand, but it's like a brand that isn't Becca, whatever. I'm not gonna purchase this and you're not gonna purchase it. I used to have so much respect for BH Cosmetics, but now I just feel like they are becoming like the new ColourPop, but they are not as good. I know a lot of people this year has talked so much about BH Cosmetics and that they have been so revolutionary and their brands has been like, or their products has been bomb. But when they came out, come out, oh, when they come out with shit like this, I just want to shit my pants because I would think that this would be like Deck of Scarlet or something. Maybe it should scooch because that's the way you do it on YouTube. This looks like Deck of Scarlet. The only thing that's missing is like a lip gloss. This is the Garnet January. I cannot say January, February. It's hard for a Swede like me. <gasps> oh my God, I'm gonna cry. This, okay. I, uh, why am I getting tears in my eyes? <laughs> This I really want. Oh my god, I'm literally gonna cry. This is a new collection from ELF. I was about to say Melt, but ELF. Oh. This is the Mint Melt collection, which is why I wanted to say that it is from Melt Cosmetics. They have a bunch of different products. It looks like they have two of these quads. They have some eyeshadow sticks, some skincare, cooling face primer, cooling 10 a.m. cleansers, you cannot use it at any other time, and a whipped face mask, and then it seems like they have some no budget eyeshadow or no budge. No bu bud yeah. No budge eyeshadow. And then some lip glosses. I actually, oh, and some eyeshadow palettes, of course. Or I mean eyeshadow brushes. I actually think that this is really pretty, but what, what it reminds me of is the uh, Kaleidos Electro Turquoise palette. They have a brown and then some beautiful mints in the eyeshadow. And you can just use that, or if you don't like the browns in that, you can just add in browns from your collection. But I gotta say, I think that it's beautiful. I actually 
bought into the hype and purchased some of the elf palettes but then i never ended up using them i never ended up featuring them on my channel i have actually decluttered them some i have put into a giveaway that i'm gonna have pretty soon i know i keep talking about it i'm so sorry so i'm not gonna purchase this because i just know that i won't use it but the one thing that i actually am excited about is the liquid eyeshadows the shade ice cream and melt with me i think are pretty however I'm not gonna purchase them, I'm not. Um, I just don't really feel like I need it and I don't think I would use it that much. I would much rather purchase like a beautiful pigment or something. <laughs> or something. Natasha Denona has come out with some new lip pencils and it's in her I Need a Nude. So it is I Need a Nude crayon and fuck you Natasha, fuck it you this is so on trend you have no idea how much i love lip liners at the minute i think that it's so fun i think that like i love the 90s vibe i just did a video with the sample beauty equality whatever palette equalizer palette volume 2 and i did a 90s vibe lip to it i can link that video right up here because not a lot of people actually saw it but i just I love the 90s lip. I know people hate on it, but I love it. I think it's so pretty. Today, I tried to do a similar vibe and, oh, yes, I could definitely see myself getting these, but do I have all the shades I need? No, I actually don't. I would need another like spicy lip product or lip pencil or something. What are these retailing for? Because you know that in Sweden, the, <laughs> the price is gonna go up. $22 each, maybe that's not too, too bad. 200, 250 Swedish crowns. Yeah, uh, might purchase, but you shouldn't. No, no, leave those for me. Okay, this, this I actually had to talk myself out of. There is no way for you to understand that when I was 14, 15, 16, my life revolved around Tokyo Hotel, My Chemical Romance, and 30 Seconds to March. I love them so much. So much. Especially My Chemical Romance. They were my absolute favorite. Oh. They, I mean, I still listen to them. I put the record on and I reminisce and I just think, oh, they're so good. Love them. They are the only ones that I still wanna see that I haven't seen live. Hate myself for that. Hip Dot. Who the fuck is Hip Dot? Who? I don't know. Do you know? I guess not. But they have come out with a My Chemical Romance palette and collection it seems like i was just interested in the palette and w w w w w when i saw the packaging I, I i i i just cried it's beautiful the palette is beautiful it's like magic the price let's see 24 doll hairs but then I started okay, think away my chemical romance and I was like, no, okay, no, 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 this is not something I want. No, not something I want, not something I need, not something I'm gonna purchase. But if I were someone who purchased things for like sentimental value, I would have purchased this. It kind of saddens me that I'm not gonna purchase it, but it feels like it's gonna be the same situation with the Coraline palette from that fucked up indie brand. Ugh. Colourpop came out with a collection called Wine Only. I know some people complained about this. Wait, let me see the co uh, comments. Sold out in 27 minutes. Not impressed. Looks like the Valentine's palette. Some people actually seem to enjoy it, but I have a feeling that I've heard shit about this. I actually think that this is a gorgeous palette, but yeah, it might be very reminiscent to a lot of the palettes that they already have come out with. But here's the thing. 
whenever ColourPop or whichever brand comes out with a neutral palette, this is not a neutral palette, but I just had to rant a little bit about this, like sidetrack. Sidetracks can sometimes be the best part of a video, podcast, or whatever it is. It can be the best thing, so hear me out. When brands come out with a neutral palette, people, doesn't matter if it's cool tone, neutral, warm tone, people will be like, we already seen this. Oh, it's, uh, uh. <laughs> We've already seen this. What are you doing? Release something else. Release something fun. And then when they come out with a 12 pound rainbow palette, people are like, bravo, revolutionary. And I'm like, what? 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 Don't get it. So a lot of people, complain but then they don't realize that the the shit that they also purchase is like also the same anyway wine and only very very pretty have not purchased it because you know what i am d-o-n-e with ColourPop. No, I'm not. But every time I purchase from ColourPop, my package gets lost. I purchased, I placed one order last year at ColourPop and I still haven't gotten it. I, I placed my order in November, <laughs> in the middle of November. I think when you're seeing this, that it's almost coming to me, but it's just been crazy. Every time it's lost, every time it's like always something always something so i'm just getting fed up with it but i do think that it is a absolutely gorgeous collection collection let's talk about juvia's place for a minute because i am done with juvia's place as well i am such a hater i am at war with juvia's place i am they have it out for me they are after me and my coin i placed an order i got my order but I didn't get everything I ordered. I got one product wrong. So I purchased two lipsticks, two eyeshadow palettes. I got two eyeshadow palettes, two lipsticks, but one of the lipsticks was wrong. So I emailed them and was like, hey bitch, what's going on? No, I'm very polite when I email. <laughs> but I basically told them, hey, you uh, sent the wrong product. How do we fix this? And they were like, oh my God, we're so sorry. I don't even think that they apologized if I'm gonna be honest, but they were like, okay, we're just gonna send out a new palette. No, a new, new lipstick. And I was like, okay, great. Will you also cover the fee? And they were like, no bitch. So I got a d gift certificate for $14. And I was like, but wait a minute. If I'm gonna purchase the lipstick, then I have to pay $14 for the lipstick that is gonna be free with their discount code or gift certificate. And then I have to pay shipping for like $14, $15. And then I have to pay taxes for like 10 to $15. That's a very expensive fucking lipstick because you did the wrong thing. You didn't ship the correct order that I placed. So I was like, you know what? Just give me my money back for that lipstick, not for my entire order, but for the lipstick, and they were like, no. Excuse you? No, that is not a Juvia's Place policy. But I paid for a product I didn't get, just closed my errand. I was like, hello? Closed my errand again. I was like, okay, this is not cool. I paid for a, for an item that I didn't get, closed my errand. So now I'm at war. I have reported them to PayPal. I will get my $14 and it's gonna go back into Nicholas' account, but I don't give a F. That's not cool and I'm not ordering from Juvia's place again. Also, they have been pretty bad recently. So let's just talk about this collection because <sighs> it's press glitters. I know some people like pressed glitters. I am not one of those people. I am the kind of person that does my makeup seven, six or seven times a week. I would never use a glitter. 
I didn't think it was revolutionary when ColourPop put glitters in all their palettes. I didn't think it was revolutionary when Tati did it. Are you allowed to talk about Tati anymore? I didn't think it was revolutionary now that Juvia's Place is doing it. I didn't think that the Jolie Beauty palettes was ever revolutionary either. I never thought that glitters was revolutionary or Oh, Pixie. Pixie is another brand that people think it's okay when, when uh, glitters is in palettes, but not when ColourPop does it. Okay. They have done collaborations. I don't know who the co collaborations is with. Doesn't matter. Pretty palettes, but it's pressed glitters. Not gonna purchase. Quads. A blue quad. No. Uh, uh, another no i just don't find them that interesting i'm sorry but juvia's place used to be revolutionary now they're not anymore so ColourPop has come out with yet another collection and this is the be poopy <laughs> collection <laughs> so it's a lot of like diarrhea colors it's a lot of poopy colors they were inspired by poop and they made a collection out of it they also made some poopy blush. <laughs> ah, I am so immature. This is why you shouldn't drink when you're pregnant. Something that I am remotely interested in is from Fenty. I love the Fenty glosses. I think that they are great. I waited so long because I was like, people need to chill their pants. I mean, it's lip glosses. How revolutionary can they be? And now I am here sucking Fenty's T-I-T-S, or is it two S? T's, T-I-T-T-S, tits, tits. They have come out with some new gloss bombs and they are called creams. When I first saw it, I was so happy because I thought that there were blushes. No, no. I'm not too certain I will pick these up because I am so scared that it's gonna be this blobby mess or that it's just gonna be streaky. You know, lip glosses, like, they can be a little bit streaky. I am unsure of how they would look. I would love to swatch them, but I can't. Well, I can. Sweden isn't in lockdown, but I just don't wanna go to Sephora just to swatch them because it seems very irresponsible of me, even though I am technically allowed. It just doesn't sit right. I am gonna have my eyes on these, but I am not too certain. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Have you tried them? If you have, let me know how you like them. By the way, don't forget to like or dislike this video, depending on how you feel about it. Also, subscribe. Nikita Dragon is uh, a character, to say the least. She has come out with some very questionable things. She was revolutionary and came out with a color corrector. No, no one else has ever done that. Yes, they have. No. Yes, they have. Have you ever been on the internet before? Have you ever been on the internet before? Everyone has come out with it. <laughs> no, bitch. No. And I know that she got shit for this, but I actually think it's kind of cute. I think that... It kind of sums up her little first launch with the egg. I, I, I find it to be pretty cute. Like, I don't find it, these to be anything wrong. I actually, I mean, I think that this is the best launch she has ever done. I think that it's on trend. It's fun that she came out with something different. And I love the fact that she kept it to her aesthetic, but she didn't go too wild as she has done some other times with the packaging and everything. So this, I gotta say, I, I, I think it's great. I am not gonna purchase it though. She's not gonna get my money, but I will give credit where credit is due. And I think that the brand is going into the right direction. What the fuck? Juvia's Place came out with another palette. This is also like a jumbled mess. In collaboration, inspired by the people that come from, from nothing and flourish into something beautiful. Okay, so Angel, which is her dad's name. Okay, I am not gonna shed on this because it seems like everything, oh, okay. Each and every shade is named after 
something in this creator's life and I am not here to shit on that. Great job, gonna move on. Did Violet Voss have some leftovers when they created this? Haven't they come out with similar shit and now it just seems like, oh, we have some extra stock, so let's just put everything into a palette. This is what I mean when people say that everything, every neutral release is different or isn't different, but then when brands come up with shit like this, it's like, revolutionary. Let's read the comments. Okay, people aren't into this. I don't think you are into this. I don't know, like Violet Voss used to be the shit and then they just weren't anymore. I kind of feel like there are a lot of boring releases. I mean, ColourPop has come out with like a bazillion more releases. It's the same thing with this palette that they came out with. This is the rainbow palette. I mean, I gotta check the comments here because people is probably gonna be obsessed with this. The last thing I need was another rainbow palette, but it didn't stop me from picking it up. Reminds me of Morphe bought both i ordered the palette this is what i don't get because this isn't different it is the same sort of crap that so many indie brands and so many bigger brands like morphe for instance has released for the past one and a half years but when it comes to rainbow palettes people are like oh and i don't shit on rainbow palettes it's just like a rainbow palette is a rainbow palette i get it if you love that kind of makeup and you want to purchase it go right ahead because I buy, like when I buy foundations, I buy the same shit over and over. Like it's just different brands, same formulas. It's the same, but it's just like, why can't we all just, I agree that when a neutral palette comes out, it's like, yes, it is the same shit all over again. This isn't revolutionary, but colorful palettes usually isn't either. It's just what kind of makeup you love and what kind of makeup I love. Like we are obviously gonna be drawn to the makeup that we love and we're gonna be like, oh my God, I need that. If it has like, you know, the same sort of browns or the same sort of yellows that you love or whatever it is, it's just like, yeah, it's just a rant. Uh, the palette is almost, no, the palette is $34. Every time I see glam light, I wanna vomit. I'm not even gonna put up a picture of the, the palette, it's just, the same with them all over. And I hate that stupid brand, hate them. Okay, let's talk a little bit about Lunar Beauty and then I think we're gonna be done. So they came out with an eyeshadow palette. Uh, let's talk about Mitchell's uh, release, by the way, as well. And then we can be done. So Lunar Beauty came out with a palette and I know a lot of people said that they were disappointed and I was too, but now that I see this swatch picture, I'm like, <laughs> Oh, I know I won't use every single shade. I think that they are very pretty together. I really, really do. And I think that the shimmers looks absolutely beautiful. I think that you could do some really beautiful day-to-day -day time looks, but then also something like super glam, something super cool, something super colorful. And I am not one that loves like blue eyeshadow, but now that I see this, I'm like, should I get it? Should I? I'm trying to really, really cut back and not purchase that many eyeshadow palettes and everything. But this, I think, is so stinking beautiful. I also love Manny's lip products. I think that he picked out the correct shades, correct shades, but shades that I like. That has to be correct, right? I don't know if the palette is available at Beauty Bay. If it is, I will link it down below and it's gonna be affiliate links. I'm gonna try to use as many affiliate, link, affiliate, affiliate links as I can. If you wanna support me, do so. If not, screw you. The palette is $48. Ooh. The lip gloss is $17. The liquid lipstick is $18. The brush bag, brush bag, fuck that. Let's move on. Let's go to Mama Mama Mitchell. I have his palette that he did in collaboration with Beauty Bay. I got it in PR because Mitchell loves me. We're friends. No, he doesn't know who I am. <laughs> I have talked about his products before because I remember talking about his blush. 
I just I was just seeing a picture of his blush and I was like oh, I need to talk about it but let me just talk about it again because I love Mitchell and I've gotten so many comments about it so I do want his blush the only reason why I didn't purchase from him is because of the fact that I thought that it would come to beauty bay and I was like why hasn't it I think you want to kind of maybe give his own brand a little bit of a platform see like ship out his own products and then maybe launch at Beauty Bay because he kind of have to launch at Beauty Bay, am I right? Or is there any tea there? I don't know. I think that his blurch are stunning. I wanna get like maybe 14 of them. And then he has his little Bellu palette. Can I get pictures on it, please? Here is the blue palette. I think that it's gorgeous anyway. Um, a little bit jumbled and a little bit um, out of my comfort zone and not really my kind of colors, but beautiful. Then we have this palette that I am just, I'm getting, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that because uh, I might get demonetized. As if not, as if I haven't gotten demonetized by now, this palette is probably what I have, would have done if I were Mitchell. I would maybe, 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 maybe have removed the orange. That's the shade that I can't see myself use. Maybe added in a black. He had a black in. He had a black in. Yes. So, whew, this is also a palette that I kind of want to purchase. It is 40 pounds. I'm trying to resist it as much as I can, but it's really, really hard. I think we're gonna end on that note. Hope you liked the video. If you didn't, that's fine. Just thumbs this video down. If you liked it, thumbs this video up. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out and have a nice day. Okay, bye.